Hi Virgo, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, this is a bonus reading. I decided to turn the bonus element reading, readings I was doing weekly into a bonus monthly reading for every sign. So I'm going to take a look here at love, life, and advice, just like I was doing with the weekly element readings. If you were familiar with that uh, type of reading, I am eliminating that reading as well as I think maybe the spiritual readings. And I'm going to do bi-weekly love and general readings along with these monthly bonus readings. So you can leave me a uh, comment down below if you like to in the description box. Not the description box, but the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think. So welcome Virgo. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having a great new year. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus. Since we're doing love, life, advice, it's sort of like a mix of everything. So let's see what's going on here. And if you like to watch uh, past readings, I do consider all my readings timeless. Links to your um, playlist, your general in love, are below in the description box, as well as how to reach out for personal readings, that's I'm using, social media, if you like our tip to tip or donate to the channel. All that information is below, as well as some of that I will pin to the top comment, also in the comment section. So Virgo, let's see what's going on with Virgo in love. Please only take what resonates with any reading, uh, every part of every reading may not resonate with you. So well, let's see what we have at love here. We have 32. Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. And I just got this for Sagittarius. So if some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius, you may want to watch that reading. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have five. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize and bring happiness to those around you. Five is about change. And we do have two and three here, which is about uh, 32 here. Which We've got five, five, which is change. Five, five, ten is an ending. One is a new beginning. So for some of you, it could be you or somebody you're dealing with or how you act in relationships. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe some of you need to be kinder in relationships um, and look at, look at relationships, your pattern in relationships, how you act, how you respond. Um, are, we, are we being honest? Are we having honest communication? Are we appreciative? Are we affectionate and loving? So something here with someone, something, whether it's you, someone you're dealing with needing to be more kind and kind of change patterns, the pattern in either an existing relationship or the way uh, somebody could be in upcoming relationships is what I'm getting. So let's see, let's see what's going on. We're gonna clarify all these energies with the tarot after we pull um, the energies here. So let's take a look, a look at life for Virgo at this time for this bonus reading. For Virgo spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, one more shuffle. And just a quick shout out to all those who have supported the channel, whether you've tipped or donated, sent a gift, uh, reached out for personal reading, a new subscriber. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for supporting me in the channel. It's truly, truly appreciated. So what do we have here for life? We have Perspective 12, Archangel Chamiel. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. This is the hangman. So the hangman kind of takes a pause, a break, kind of goes in limbo, but gains perspective, you know, takes in everything, thinks of things in a new way, sees things in a new way, um, gains a whole new perspective, way of thinking before um, taking action. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow, so now we have the moon, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears, and grow stronger. So the moon with the uh, hanged man, wow. So some of you maybe not seeing things clearly really need to listen to your gut, your intuition, take a step back and listen to what your higher knowing, your gut, your intuition um, is trying to tell you. So you can gain a new perspective about something. It could be a person, place, a thing. It could be anything here. Um, 
and it's telling you also to face your fears. So I don't know, we're gonna clarify all that. So right now we're gonna get your advice, your advice here. And I just noticed perspective is 12, which is three. And then we have the moon here, which is 18, which is nine. So, all right, so let's see. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking 12, 10, and then the moon nine. I, I have no idea what I was thinking. But anyway, <laughs> let's get your advice. Your advice. For Virgo, I do ask Virgo if you're new, if you like my style and how I read, please check out my channel. If you like what I what you what you see, <laughs> please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell; you'll be notified when I post uh, new readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's see here. We have Athena in her wisdom. Wow, that goes along with following your intuition here at the Moon. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. And wise wisdom here knowing what the wise thing is to do and trusting that inner wisdom guidance intuition sige sige quiet time or is it sig i'm not sure how you uh, pronounce that take some quiet time alone to rest meditate and contemplate exactly like in the hanged man so this is sort of like the same message as over here <laughs> it's like the same exact message it's taking some quiet time, take a little break, um, you know, put things on pause so you can do that inner reflect, reflection and listen to your inner guidance and wisdom before you take action accordingly. Wow. So I don't know what that means to anybody, but only you know what that means for you, Virgo. All right, so let's see. I do notice kind of like the green there, which does represent the heart chakra. So I don't know if it has, this has to do with matters of the heart. Again, it doesn't have to be a lover. It can be dear friends, family. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let's get some clarification for you, Virgo. <clears throat> I don't know if I did mention this is for sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, and Venus. I think I did, but I'll say it again. So let's clarify, show simple acts of kindness and look at your pattern in relationships. So we have the five of swords yee, and the devil. Wow. Yeah. So in the nine of swords. Wow. Holy Moses here. So the five of swords is kind of like an egocentric kind of card, getting ahead at all costs. You don't have to care how you do it. The devil's toxic energy could be uh, obsessions, addictions, just negative energy, um, negative habit, habits. It could be just low self-esteem, toxic kind of energy, uh, doubting yourself, fear, that kind of energy. And then you have the Nine of Swords, which is stress, fear, anxiety, nervous energy, doubt. Wow. All right. So let's see what else do we have here. But we have the sun, which is about enlightenment, healing, happiness, joy, success, victory, happy home and family. Wow. So that's a good energy. But then we got a ten of swords here, which is about a painful ending. Painful ending. So, all right, let's get one more. And the seven of pentacles, which is about patience, waiting, investments, uh, assessing your investment. So that's assessing your patterns and relationships. How can you heal and gain and gain? You need to heal and gain enlightenment on your pattern and relationships. How you can change, how um, you can be more kind, showing more compassion, sympathy, peace, harmony, balance, affection, that kind of energy. So it has to be an ending here of toxic ways of like kind of turning your like back, like only concerned about you, maybe in relationships. It kind of leaves the other person like stress, worry, anxious, you know, anxiety. But this can be all overcome and healed. The sun over trumps the devil card to me, along with the strength card. So 
things can be healed. Things can be better if we learn how to assess and then change how we uh, are in relationships here. Okay, so let's see what's going on with perspective and the moon for you, Virgo. Eight of Rods, so fiery, passionate travel, action, communication. The Empress, knowing value, worth, breath of something new. It's stable, grounded, secure kind of energy. It's too many. King of Pentacles. So I was just getting the message of boss, entrepreneur, uh, or something like that, a supervisor, something like that. So in the Emperor Empress, doesn't matter who's watching this, male or female, the Emperor and the Empress can be a ruler, somebody in charge, somebody who owns their own business or uh, is a high ranking boss or something like that. So I feel like maybe some of you um, have been offered a position to be like a higher of a higher rank maybe that communication came in and uh, they see your value your worth about taking this and someone king of pentacles someone definitely here uh, who is smart analytical practical growth abundance for a cup so yeah deciding whether or not you want to take it here but i think you probably will because you got the knight of cups which is like having the cup in hand and moving forward in a more peaceful, uh, calm, loving, compassionate energy. Queen of Cups here, being mature, being uh, feeling like total, totally aligned with this decision. You know, maybe you did take a minute here to pause, think, contemplate, as with the hangman. Hangman um, energy is Pisces, which Queen of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So... I feel like for some of you, you had to gain perspective on some kind of offer that came into you, uh, whether or not you want to take action in that, in knowing your value and your worth. Am I worthy of this? Can I do this? It, does this meet my expectations? Gaining perspective of every, of every aspect of this, knowing all the details, not leaving anything in the shadows. And then seeing growth potential with the King of Pentacles energy, abundance. The Four of Cups, I feel like just contemplating, gee, I don't know. But then I think eventually accepting it and now being in a more tranquil state, happy, peaceful state, because you did accept this after taking the amount of time needed to think and contemplate about this. All right. So, and also listening to your intuition, your gut, your higher knowing. For a time here with the Four of Cups and realizing, yep, this is something I want to take. So moving forward in that Knight of Cups energy. So what is this inner wisdom and quiet time? King of Rods, fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. The Tower. So something coming in here to shake things up. Tower could be a surprise. It could be... An argument, it could be a meltdown, it could be a breakdown, it could be an aha, a moment, epiphany, whatever, how it resonates. Five of Cups, so sadness, loss, heart here. All right, so let's get uh, more. We're going into a better place, overcoming the tower moment and feeling sad about it. Going into a better place here with the Six of Swords, peace, harmony, balance. No, keep fighting on, don't give up. The Nine of Rods energy. And Knight of Pentacles, taking a slower, more practical approach. So I feel like, you know, maybe some of you with the King of Rods energy was just like going after something very quickly. And if you are doing that, like you're, you're like racing ahead very quickly because uh, this King of Rods is facing away from all this energy. While the Knight of Pentacles is going forward, the King of Rods is going backwards. So I feel like every step you took going forward being so fired, fired up and passionate is set you like one step back. And then Tower comes in here to give you a aha moment, epiphany, saying, you know, every time I go, you know, forward, I take two steps back. You know, my cups get knocked over and I have to start over and go two steps back. So I think this Tower moment came in here 
or will come in if you are in this energy to tell you, look, you need to slow down a little bit before you um, ruin a good thing here. You know, keep fighting and moving on, but take a more s slower, practical, smart approach here, and you, eventually you will get there to a place of peace, harmony, tranquility, and balance. You will get to that better place. Just take a small, a slower, practical approach, which is, you know, following your gut and your intuition and taking a break and take quiet time to think and meditate. How am I moving forward? What mistakes am I making? How is that backlashing towards me and setting me back? And instead of rushing, take your time and be practical. I think is what the message is here. So let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, balance. Exactly. Balance. You know, being committed to the journey here. Structure, balance, um, faith, religion. But being committed, having that inner strength and willpower, knowing when to be strong, courageous, and brave, and knowing when to hold back and say, you know, that's not quite right. So I need to have that willpower to tame the beast within and remain in this balanced energy. Sometimes you may need to hold back and wait a little bit before you can persevere on here and fight on. But you do have stability here in the long run in your home, your family, your foundation. Could be relationship, relationships here also becoming stronger and getting that foundation built here and this energy moving forward, not to fight, to keep going on, knowing when to hold back, to wait, having the inner strength to do so and willpower and being committed to the journey here with the Hierophant and the energy of balance. Wow, Virgo. Okay, so I hope that resonated for you and best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.